All right, we got a big bottle. We got a very big bottle of beer. It's a what, 650? Nah. Uh, yeah, 650. 650 mil big bottle of beer. Not a super boozy beer, but one that should be more than fun because, well, it's from, it's from Amsterdam and it's, looks like it's celebrating 35 years. I mean, that's pretty damn cool if I do say so myself. So without further ado, let's just get right into the review. Beer, 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 ba beer, ba beer, beer, beer. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, for another Rooster Brewski review. And today, the beer that I have for you guys is by the Amsterdam Brewing Company, Amsterdam Beer, Amsterdam Brewery. We got a beer. <laughs> we got a big beer. We got Ritual Table Beer. Boom. Big 650 ml bottle of this beautiful table beer. It says, uh, 35 years of, of craft beer in Toronto to take you on a taste adventure. Coming in at 4% alcohol by volume and 33 IBU. So not that boozy, which uh, I don't mind. I mean, I'm. it's a Sunday night. Don't really want to be drinking a ton. Clearly, I mean, alcohol percentage-wise. So, hey, without further ado, let's crack this bad boy open. Let's see what we got. I thought it was going to explode a little bit. Thankfully, it didn't. We got a uh, silver black cap, bottle cap, pretty cool stuff. Let's pour it up into the uh, Sada City pint glass. No matchy matchy glassware here. That's just fine by me. There's a good bit of beer there. Looking at it, very pale yellow in color. Decent amount of haze to it as well, and quite effervescent, and a nice white head on top. Sitting pretty. I'm excited. You're excited. Let's just drink some beer. On the nose, barnyard characteristics. Kind of very, very similar to a Saison. Table beer, Saisons, I'm very sure it's... I don't know if it's uh, equally interchangeable. Um, you know, uh, a, a style of beer, or a way to describe it, but... Table beers, saisons, traditionally usually a lot more on the lower end ABV compared to, you know, my end of the beginning, which was mm, seven and a half. Boozy, this, much more closer to uh, the traditionalist. We have barnyard, peppery, lemony, a little white wine, a little bit of white grape, give it a swirl, a lot of effervescence. Yeah, barnyardy, funky, horse blankety. A little bit of lemon, white pe uh, pe pepper, white grape, and a little bit of white grind, white white grind, white wine on it. Very nice. Let's dive in. On the flavor, definitely a bit more, um, I guess, uh, generalized uh, hop bitterness to it in the forefront. Well, a little, again, a little bit of that 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 barnyardy. Uh, sort of note moving into some of the, 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 those peppers a little bit of lemoniness going on in there But I really do need another sip because that one kind of took me for a little bit of a loop Didn't know what to expect. We need a little bit more, you know in-depth look into this particular brew So with that said guys cheers everybody. Let's keep on drinking Yeah, right off the bat definitely more of a citrus pithy Rindy sort of uh, bitterness to it, and then which then moves into I uh, you know the, the, those lighter barnyardy notes, some cracked like like, like black pepper sort of notes around uh, going across there as well. Then quite nice. A bit of a lemony sweetness to it, not much, just just a little little, little, little zip, zip of sweetness in there. Uh, but yeah, definitely more uh, peppery, citrus rindy. White barnyard, quite nice. Good effervescence to the beer as well. Uh, not super over, not over, like not super carbonated or whatnot. But then again, not lower moderate. Definitely on the higher end, but it doesn't come across that way, which is kind of nice. I kind of like that little uh, sort of uh, not disguise, but just attribute about the beer. Pretty good stuff though. Very crisp clean refreshing 
this is definitely a table beer or a beer that you can enjoy on a hot ass day. It's not gonna, it's not gonna you know, get you bombed by any means. But I think that's kind of the point. It's just a beer that you can crack and enjoy and just get some solid, solid refreshment with a solid amount of flavor coming your way. See what the bottle has to say. Amsterdam Brewery Ritual Table Beer. Again, 4% ABV, 33 IBUs. 35 years of craft beer in Toronto to take you on a taste adventure. Tasting notes, inspired by the table beers of Belgium and Northern France, Ritual is a summertime favorite of the Amsterdam brewing team. Brewed with a variety of rye and wheat malts, this beer is dry hopped with Mandarina Bavaria and uses our house saison yeast strain. Aromas of orange blossom, or, sorry, of orange blossom, white pepper, and a touch of bubble gum let lead into a dry finish with subtle aftertaste of rye spiciness. Definitely getting that rye spiciness, and that that's more what I'm getting in the forefront rather than the back. Yeah, white pepper over black. Orange blossom, I have no idea what that is. No idea at all. I'm getting more citrusy, a little bit of that rye spiciness. I'm white to black pepper, kind of like a gray pepper. Let's call it that for now, for what I'm getting. And a little bit of like a lemony sweetness. No idea what orange blossom is. But yeah, pretty cool stuff. Uh, I don't see any date codes on here, but a pretty cool looking bottle if I do say so myself yeah no no ooh, there is some sort of date code here 3f1121-55 cool works for me over on the website amsterdambeer.com you go to the beer section and funnily enough you cannot find ritual on here Moving on to Untapped, a little confused with the Untapped because it seems like this beer has been released a few other times. Uh, they have Ritual 2016 and 2017, both at 3.9% and 35 IBUs. So a little bit different here, a little less IBUs, a little bit more alcohol. Not much, I means 0.1 doesn't really make a big difference. You tell me. But overall, between those two beers, Seems to be about a 3.4 bottle caps out of five. Again, don't have any numbers on this year's edition, but it is what it is. As for the price, again, even though I don't have it on the website, from what I remember, it's around the $475 to $495 mark for the 650 mil bottle. Now that's a fantastic price. Obviously it's not a, it's not a big boozy beer, but it's a stellar product with a ton of flavor and just, uh, ooh, ooh. Pick a couple of these up for a night, maybe three, and then have yourself a damn good time. Damn good time, indeed. Overall, pretty fantastic beer. Just the final sip, guys. Oh, let's get ready to wrap this thing up. Ritual, Amsterdam. Damn good stuff, indeed. I like that. I, I like, like the saison notes, the little barnyardy uh, white grape, white wines that you usually get. A little bit of lemony citrus kick off of it. The pepper, and then moving into the flavor. Solid amount of flavor that that rye gives, does give that extra little bit of zing. Again, a little bit of sweet lemon for me, and and just a nice overall citrus and light barnyardy uh, barnyardy notes. It's a winner for me, indeed. The color looks good. The mouthfeel is solid. You get a great big bottle for a fantastic price. No complaints. Overall, Ritual gets a solid... Hmm, gets a solid 8, 9 out of 10 for me. Before I leave you guys, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down in the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like this video, or subscribe to me, Mate Brewski, it would be greatly appreciated as well. And with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mate Brewski. Like I always say, crack a beer and enjoy. Cheers. Now I get to enjoy the big bottle all to myself, all to myself, cause I'm a greedy, greedy person, do 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 do. Go buy one though, it's pretty, pretty damn good. Cheers.